Hey, what's going on guys? What's going on today? Guys, so I saw this video like a year ago. I remember when I saw it, I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have a front end like this with all my fighting games and stuff. Shout out to Simply Austin, by the way. Um, I love the stuff he does. Um, to be honest with you, uh, this video doesn't explain anything on how to do this, to be honest with you guys. Like, I had to spend hours and hours and hours to actually be able to download all these games and make them work. I could not make them work in the front end, to be honest with you. I tried and tried and I couldn't. So, what I did was, and I'm gonna try to leave all the links for the games so you guys can actually download it and make this work. I actually found uh, the dumps. Uh, this is a torrent file, it's 29.5 gigs. And I actually downloaded this and it downloaded the front end and, and most of the game, not all the games. All the games are not here. So, like I say, I spent days and days and days trying to, you know, download all the games to make them work. And I actually made them work in Taito Extra. So this right here, these are all the games that are actually in the front end and I make them work here. Like I said, I don't know how to make it work in the front end. I try, I hold on to stop, putting it in the main, in the like in the front of the drive, no subfolder or anything. And the front end should come up. I put all the games inside where it says games. Nothing worked guys. For me it didn't work. But to show you that all the games work, even the ones that have an X, they work. Like look, I'm gonna put kind of, a kind of heart right now. Does he play right now? So you guys can see. So the only games, the only games that I haven't been able to get so far are the King of Fighters, Maximum Impact, Regulation A, that one I didn't get, and the other one is Blaze Blue, Central Fiction. I got the best Blaze Blue though, I got Blaze Blue Chrono Plasma, which is better than that one, you know. But those are the only two games that I haven't been able to get. I, I have searched and searched, you know, but I haven't been able, uh, able to get them. But look, even the ones with the X, even those play. If they got three X, if they got two X, that means that the game got issues, but they will still work. Did this one right now, this one works just fine. It starts and everything. I just haven't set up the controllers for this one, so I'm not gonna be able to, you know, go past this. I gotta find out which is the button to pass that right there. I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, I haven't set it up, I mean. But, yeah. And let's say, when you, uh, when you, uh, set your game folder and when your games look like this, all of them are gonna have X's. All you have to do is you go over a game that has an X or whatever and you click right here the setup game tool and that's gonna inject everything that he has for the game and make the game work super simple guys type extra is the, is the shift for real for real so yeah guys 
So after this is done, the game is gonna work. I don't have the game, so it's not gonna, you know, the three extras are still gonna appear because I do not have the game here. But yeah, like you see, all these games right here are for, for Nestica Live. All these games, all those games right there. Yes, sir. So what I did was I went ahead and downloaded Launchbox. I actually bought bought Launchbox and I'm starting to put all the games in here from Taito to Type X. I'm putting all the games in here and they work amazingly guys. No problem whatsoever. I mean Launchbox man is the best thing anybody can have. Like you can have all your game. This is like Netflix for a game guys. Crazy crazy. Super super nice. I love this program man. You can have all your stuff here. But anyways, so the Taito Type X game, let's say I wanted to play Street Fighter Tour Strike, the Taito Type X version. Click right there, hit play. My game is gonna load. There you go, Nessica. We got the Nessica logo right there. We're not online, so the logo is, you know, it's out. But that's. That's a Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. I haven't got all of them because. I haven't added all of them because imagine. I. I've been lazy, to be honest with you. Let me show you this one, that's this KO Breaker, really good game too. And I, I'm gonna show you the program that I use to map all the games. I actually took a lot of time to map all these games. I actually went to the games and started pressing all the freaking keys on my, on my keyboard to actually make them work. Crazy, crazy guys. Okay, break this. Just so you show you guys how the game works. The game is super cool by the way. Battle one. Fight. <laughs> That's down. Chaos Breaker. I got Street Fighter. Uh, Street Fighter Four Arcade Edition, which you know that's on PC already, but I wanted the Type to Type X version as well. But yeah, guys, I got everything here. Just gonna start putting the other games that I got from Taito Type X and Nessica, you know how it is. But let me show you this real fast. So, this is my Taito Type X folder right here. Uh, my folder came out though. So, this is my Taito Type X right here. So, what I did was I got Nessica right here. And these are all the wrongs for the Nessica. Like I say, I'm gonna try to leave a link because I'm the only one who's a uh, who's a uh, who's a uh, freaking our seating this right now. The only one because I'm still seating it. So you guys can see it's only one seater and one liter, man. So this is gonna die soon. The torrent. But the, like I said, the torrent doesn't have all the games. You, you guys still gotta, you know, dig a little bit more to, to get all of them. So these are where all the games are located. And the title app search is, you know, when you open the program. You got someone out there, I don't know what, I don't know why. But when you open the program, you go to settings. And then you go to 
as it got set up and then you here you add the path that the games are in you go through all of them it's really simple stuff if you guys want to see my settings i'm gonna put them there one by one so you guys can see it that's it uh, oh this is only updating the game so the program doesn't want to update no i'll look into it so let me show you all my settings real fast display system all of them now there you go go games uh, game folders there you go then you go you look for the game the, the folder that has all your games as you got set up as if you want to add hd texture sd textures and stuff like that next you got set up necessary files hacks i don't got nothing in hacks and that's it that's all you have to do to get this working Super simple stuff guys I don't know why simply Austin didn't, didn't you know show you guys all this and this these games are like you know computer games because they actually got a game and a run which says that they're I guess they're cool differently but actually like for this one if I hit game right here the game will play as well like you don't need no front end or anything to make them work is, you know they look prettier when you have front end that's the only thing so this is the program that I use to uh, make the controller work in all the fighting games right now I only have Chaos Breaker and Street Fighter Third Strike that I've been playing a lot but I must set all these up with all the games that I have. Smash Lamb and Bobo's Adventure, you guys know what that is. Uh, but uh, yeah, I use this program and I use it with uh, Launchbox because every time I launch a game from Launchbox, I can actually tell this program to open for me. Let's say I start Street Fighter Tour Strike, I launch Street Fighter to Strike and this program opens in the background for me so my controller is ready to use. It's really really good guys. I love this program man. It's amazing. For real for real. So this right here, these are all the games that I have for the Nestica and the front end. Like I told you guys, this is the front end right here this is what the front end brings the only thing is like i told you guys i do not know how to make the front end work with the games like when when i install the front end like i see er the front end with the games and everything but then you click on a game and then it doesn't work then you, you open the, the folders and you put the games inside there and they still don't work. So I don't know what the big deal is, guys. It just doesn't work for me. It's only, uh, you know, some of you experts out there know how to do it uh, and let me know. I'll definitely get that front end because it does look pretty cool. The front end made this look way cooler but for those of you that only want to play the games and don't care about the front end, like I said, I'm going to help you as much as I can. I'm going uh, to put the torrent in the description. I'm the only one who's sitting it. So maybe you guys can download it with only me sitting it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put all this for you guys to download. I don't want to get in trouble. But if you guys PM me, or whatever I'm pretty sure I'm able to send it to you 